we reached 50,000 subscribers on this channel even though I'm not a person who consider numbers but it's a great milestone at least from my perspective and a big thanks to each and every one of you guys for making this happen your love and support through this YouTube journey it's phenomenal guys I'm never gonna forget that coming to the very first question your work journey not asking about YouTube tell us how did you get the job before that, I have to talk about my educational qualification. I came from a pharmacy background. I have a PhD in pharmaceutical sciences, BPharm, MPharm and PhD, and it spanned across multiple years. So I work for a pharma company, a nine to five job. That's the main source of income for me. Hope it's clear. And moving on to the next question, how happy you are on your 50K? This question is from Pooja4084. It's a question from my wife. Of course, as I mentioned, even though I don't bother or care about the numbers, but I'm very, very happy for where I am. When I started this journey two years back, if you would have told me that I will be at 50K two years later, I would have laughed at you. So of course, I'm very, very happy and I love to build this community a lot. Uh, so that's the question. And the third question, Miki YouTube Paisal in your side. This question is from Arvind Naidu. The language is Telugu here. My native language, if you guys don't know, it's Telugu. And you guys have always asked me to speak in Hindi, right? Right now, I'm going to talk in Telugu. If you're able to understand anything, do let me know in the comment section below. Then from next video onwards, I will make these videos in Hindi for you guys. Because I Hindi, but it doesn't That's the reason I generally don't make any videos in Hindi. So I will answer this question in Telugu. YouTube has a lot of brother. There are income streams good on time. But... No worry in the YouTube ad revenue and content because YouTube nuncho cheda de. Maybe that any YouTube lo owner tam valas thayar matra. So YouTube lo ad revenue ende de man channel ki pad danta super game views rao gada. So YouTube revenue maximum ten to fifteen thousand majlo asta de. Video leko bedta ekui asta. Video le ne bedte di eight to nine videos ka but ti ochche di ante a ten thousand endu zari pade je pum. మ్యాక్సిమం ఒక హాల్ వీడియోకి రావు మన ఛానల్లో తీసేదే హాల్ వీడియోస్ ఈచ్ అండ్ ఎవ్రీ వీడియోకి ఎంత లేదన్నా మినిమం సెవెన్ టు టెన్ థౌసండ్ నేను నా పాకెట్లో నుంచి పెట్టాలి సో యూట్యూబ్ దాని అనమాట నెగ్లిజిబుల్ ఐ వాజ్ జస్ట్ కెడింగ్ ఐ వుడ్ ట్రాన్స్లేట్ ఫర్ యూ గెస్ యాజ్ వెల్ జస్ట్ ఐ డోంట్ అర్న్ మచ్ వెన్ కమ్స్ టు యూట్యూబ్ యాడర్ వెన్ యూ ఐ ఫీల్ దట్ ఇట్స్ బెటర్ టు బి ట్రాన్స్పరెంట్ దర్ ఇస్ నథింగ్ టు హైడ్ రైట్ సో మెనీ యూట్యూబర్ జనరలీ దే ఫీల్ నాట్ టు షో దేర్ యూట్యూబ్ అర్నింగ్స్ I will try to make a dedicated video the different sources of income for a YouTuber and how much you would earn for a channel as 50k as just a medium sized channel or maybe small sized channel a micro influencer so I would just make a video on that but in general I would earn somewhere around 10,000 to 15,000k on from YouTube in fact it would be useful just as a investment for one to two videos nothing more than that if I make a Zara haul video do you know how much I would spend 30,000 or 25,000 per video. So it doesn't make any sense, right? The next question. Do you have any plans to start a clothing brand in India? This question is from Adhagan08. And there is a similar question as well from Amarnath Goshika. Can we expect own clothing brand from you? Big fan. Thanks, brother. And uh, yes, you can expect in some time. But I can't tell you what would be the some time. I do have a plan to start own clothing brand. And I was working on it since last six months. I can't reveal much of the details for you guys, unfortunately, at this point of time. The next question is from Nonsense Fellow. Huh, what kind of a username is that, brother? Anyway, I'm not bothered about this. I love your question, though. What is the scope for a fashion influencer and how a fashion influencer make money? Brother, how is your journey as a fashion influencer? If you ask my journey as a fashion influencer, it's been phenomenal. But if I have to talk about uh, some aspects, in the fashion journey i'm not going to brag about the hard work because each and every youtuber or a fashion influencer does the hard work like there is nothing special about it i believe that if you're not doing any hard work in your life you will not reach wherever you want yourself to be as simple as that so i'm not bothered about the hard work but in general there are two types of youtubers one lucky youtubers and unlucky youtubers i fall into the second category of unlucky youtubers the reason the main reason for that would be youtube algorithm i don't know why my videos will not be promoted or something like that i'm not disappointed with that but the growth has been slow because of that reason and the other reasons which i feel could be the language i make my videos in english and these videos caters towards people in india so people in india of course your logic i do understand you can absolutely watch videos from the western countries where the language would be the same but the products will not be the same that's the other logic you have to think as well and why i make videos in english because telugu is my native language 
నేను తెలుగులో చేస్తే ఈ పాటికి ఎక్కడో ఉండేది కానీ నేను తెలుగులో చేయి దలుచుకోలేదు ఎందుకంటే చాలామందికి యూజ్ అవుతుంది అండ్ ఫ్యాషన్కి లాంగ్వేజే అక్కర్లేదు అండ్ యూ గైస్ ఆస్ మీ టు స్పీక్ ఇన్ హిందీ రైట్ ఆల్వేస్ ఏ అండర్స్టాండ్ కరో పెళ్ళ లైన్స్ మీ తెలుగు మీ బోల్ది అన్న ఓ ఆపకు సమజ్ మే ఆగే అతో మే హిందీ మే వీడియో బనా దేంగే మేరా హిందీ ఇతన అచ్చ నయ ఉసలియ మే హిందీ మే వీడియోస్ నయ బంతే హా దట్స్ ద రీజన్ ఐ జనరలీ మేక్ మై వీడియోస్ ఇన్ ఇంగ్లీష్ ఇఫ్ ఐ వుడ్ హవ్ మేడ్ ఇన్ మై నేటివ్ లాంగ్వేజ్ తెలుగు ఆర్ మే బీ ఇన్ హిందీ ద గ్రోత్ వుడ్ బీ ఈవెన్ మోర్ బెటర్ నెక్స్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ ఈస్ ఫ్రమ్ దేవీ శ్రీ ప్రసాద్ వన్ ఎయిట్ హౌ మెనీ షర్ట్స్ డూ యూ హ్యావ్ హౌ మెనీ ట్రౌజర్స్ డూ యూ హ్యావ్ ఐఎమ్ నాట్ జలస్ యస్ ఐఎమ్ లిటిల్ జలస్ టోటలీ అండర్స్టాండ్ బ్రదర్ so i do have lots and lots and lots of shirts i do have almost like three plus two eight wardrobes of clothes and that too i donate each and every month my clothes and shoes i donate i donate i don't sell even though i have a thrift store i sell few of the pieces i will leave the link of the thrift store down below i sell few of the pieces on the thrift store but most of them like 40% of them like i generally wear like once or twice i donate them to needy people who will be actually able to wear them maybe college going students who can't afford that who i know i will donate to them so that's what i deal with that uh, but to give a sneak peek for your question i will just show like 5% of my shirts collection 5 or maybe 10% of my shirts collection that's how much huge my wardrobe would be so i have to do it in different parts you guys will be bored that's the reason i'm not considering one and uh, the next question is from praveen well you make subscribe outfit review pro i wanted to make one actually i have a tag as well on instagram shashank suggests you can just tag me on instagram using that particular tag i will be able to make a review i asked people to just tag me and then i chose not to i'm so sorry for who tagged me at the time because style is all about personal style right i generally review other people outfits also considering what i like in terms of the colors yes i would i would suggest based on the skin tone and based on their overall body shapes but in general either that would be demotivating or i would suggest that as a better one because it's something that is close to my personal size and something which i like the most in either way it doesn't help that person to actually fine tune their personal style that's the reason i chose not to in case if you guys are interested do let me know in the comment section below and uh, the next question from ashif what do you do for a living as i mentioned i do have a 9 to 5 job i that's my main source of income and youtube is out of my passion generally like whatever i earn from youtube either it will not be sufficient for the expenses or in case if it is sufficient also it will go again back into the investment that's how generally it works for most of the youtubers and my channel is a very small channel with 50000 subscribers and with not that many views so it makes sense and the next question is from being varun buy summer pants my video banao fabric like travel series pants and viscose pants బాయ్ ఈ బౌత్ వచ్చే క్వశ్చన్ ఏ ట్రావెల్ సిరీస్ ప్యాంట్స్ మీకు బహుత్ పసుందే జారామే ట్రావెల్ సిరీస్ ప్యాంట్స్ అన్ఫార్చునేట్లీ దే ఆర్ నాట్ రిలీజింగ్ దట్ ట్రావెల్ సిరీస్ ఎనీ మోర్ అండ్ జారా అవి ఓ ప్లీటెడ్ ట్రౌజర్స్ అయినా ఓ ప్లీటెడ్ ట్రౌజర్స్ మే షిఫ్ట్ హో గయా కంప్లీట్లీ సమ్ వేర్ బిట్వీన్ ది ట్రావెల్ సిరీస్ ప్యాంట్స్ అండ్ సమ్ వేర్ బిట్వీన్ ది నార్మల్ ట్రౌజర్స్ దే హ్యావ్ ద ట్రూ లాక్స్ ఫ్లోయి వైబ్ అండ్ ఈవెన్ బ్రిదబుల్ అండ్ దే హ్యావ్ ద విస్కోస్ ప్యాంట్స్ యాజ్ వెల్ ఏ వీడియో unfortunately i can't when it comes to the travel series or viscose pants viscose pants there are only very few options you can see here and there in my videos but it's not definitely worth to make one separate video if it's possible definitely i will make for you and next questions are from youtube comment section I appreciate your style it's very unique can you please make a video exclusively for polo t-shirts it's from shantanu patak of course brother first of all thank you for appreciating my style and also definitely i will make one on the polo t-shirts not just the standard half sleeve well fitting polos but in a different fits and different like full sleeves or something like that definitely i would make one for sure and the next one did you wear all these items again after the shoot unfortunately for most of the items i don't few of the items they go back to where they came from i will return them and few of the items just i will wear once or twice generally the durability for most of my clothes would be great because i use them less often i wear few of my favorite pieces again and again you guys wanted to see that as well do let me in the comment section below i will make a video and the next question is from vaishak nayar are you a full time youtuber yet no brother and i will not be all i love what i do at youtube i am very passionate about uh, fashion styling and everything and also want to help you guys as much as i can i generally release eight to nine videos a month which i feel that it would be sufficient have you heard of asos is there any way to buy product from other countries brands is it safe 
Yes, I heard of ASOS and uh, I love their designs as well. There is a way to buy the international products. There is a shipping cost and there is a custom duty to it. Sometimes even it, it looks way simpler than what it sounds, but it's not. Because if you order one, whatever your other card address, you have to provide this exact same one, each and everything. If there is a one single digit or one single like change, they are not gonna clear the customs. It will not even go back to the destination where it came from. It will stay with the customs. So you're gonna lose that. And number two, the shipping charges and custom duties will not make it worth the buy. That's the reason I generally don't suggest you to buy until and unless there are a few websites such as Fashion Over, which they don't charge any customs and everything because it's all included. And if you shop more than $100 or something like that, it's free. But ASOS, it's not the case. Something you have to remember. Next question is from Sidhu Smart. Please inform about any sales in which you are interested before that sale starts. I would love to do that, but unfortunately I will not be able to do that because when the sale starts, I can do that. But of course you will get to know, in case if you are a shopping enthusiast, you will be having Mintra, AGO, each and every applications on your mobile. So you will be able to know when the sale starts. What I would like you guys to know that what are my favorite options, what I bought, even though I want to share via Telegram community by creating one, I thought not to because number one, I don't buy all the products which I show in my video in one single go. Whenever I feel that I like something, I just order that. Sometimes while I was ordering itself, there will be like hardly three or four sizes available. And in case if I share to you guys, by the time the video goes live, everything will be out of stock. So it doesn't make any sense to release the video only. And number two, in case I share the product to you, generally I include products only I like after I wear them. If I like the material, if I like the fit, if I like the quality, then only I would include them and then only I would feature them in my videos. If I simply share you the link, if you guys buy them, if the quality is not great, the sole purpose of this channel will not be fulfilled. That's the reason I don't share that. Yes, by the time the video goes live, the prices may change, may alter, but still they will be on sale for the upcoming sale. The video is not going to be removed in two to three days. So it's fine. That's it for this video, guys. In terms of YouTube income stream, I will make a separate video on that. I hope uh, this is fun in terms of Q&A, like uh, you guys had some fantastic questions. I'm so sorry if I'm not able to cover your specific question. If any one of you are watching who asked that question, definitely I will cover that later and I will do a Q&A or maybe a YouTube live pretty soon. That's it from me. See you next time.